everyone. I just want to welcome people joining us here. We are in Brisbane in the suburban uh, suburb of Tennyson. We're just right next to a flower factory and across it from a golf club. And behind us is the river and the tennis courts. Uh, the Pat Rafter tennis courts just a stone's throw from here um, at this weapons factory in Tennyson. Um, and this, this weapons factory is run and owned by Electro Optic Systems. Electro Optic Systems sell smart killer cameras that are used to, as they say, enhance the lethality. We have the quote here, enhancing lethality of Saudi war crimes. We added that. Uh, what we know about EOS is that they do sell their killer camera systems to Saudi Arabia. They made a 300 million sale to the United Arab Emirates, both of which were involved in the war on Yemen. And we want to speak to the staff here who were in a, uh, a military organization, a military company called EM Solutions that have been doing military tenders for a long time but now they have joined up with EOS They're all, with a weapons maker that is exporting to Saudi Arabia, is exporting to the United Arab Emirates, and therefore pursuing war in the Middle East that is being run uh, by the Saudis uh, in a situation of incredible humanitarian disaster. Um, but we want to also point out a few things about EOS. They are, of course, one of the main sponsors for the Land Forces Exposition. Land Forces is a massive exhibition on in Brisbane in June. And EOS is one of the main sponsors with other Brisbane weapons companies, Ryan Mattal, uh, and with uh, Naya, another Brisbane weapons company. These companies are all working together to get huge amounts of money, to extract huge amounts of money from the government. Uh, to do their business and then they go around the world encouraging conflicts, encouraging the use of these weapons instead of the peaceful resolutions of conflict. Uh, this is clearly seen in the war in Yemen. Uh, the other thing we know about EOS is that they are making a killing also in Indonesia and you'll hear us talk about that later on um, on another day. But making a killing in Indonesia is uh, EOS are there, they've sold their, their smart killing camera to the Indonesian army, who are of course in West Papua committing human rights abuses. This smart killing camera, it was just a bit of ahead of the game and they've been able to move it into a lot of markets overseas and now uh, under the cover of COVID, they've moved it into the Australian Defence Force and there was an announcement uh, we, we like to have called it the uh, pork missile, the pork missile, which was uh, the announcement during the Eden Monaro uh, by-election for 251 of these uh, smart killer cameras for the Australian Army as well. So, uh, but you know, export is the main game. The government has provided $270 billion worth of money um, and there is a huge project going on at the moment in our suburbs to increase exports to uh, countries that human, abuse human rights. Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, UAE, uh, uh, Turkey, uh, which is up in, in Kurdistan. Um, all these countries are being uh, courted and land forces the, the arms expo, the arms expo, of course, is not just a place uh, where they gather to show their weapons, but they gather at land forces to make the deals. And this is why it's so important to disrupt it, uh, because when we disrupt land forces, we disrupt the deal making. Uh, the people that at the moment there's about 270 companies, 280 companies that have stalls at land forces. Um, about 30 of those are coming in from overseas, presumably with or without COVID. Um, but the other 250 are Australian companies uh, gathering in Brisbane to see how they can join up to make their killer produce. 
what we know is that in the heart of this is the role of the Americans. EOS has a major producing factory in America. They have a major uh, a, a sales desk, if you like, in the United Arab Emirates. And they are selling directly into the Middle Eastern market. And as you know, there's virtually nothing the Middle East needs but more weapons. Uh, so we have, we have here, we are calling on the workers here to, to, to remember they are now working for a major weapons dealer. Um, and that that weapons dealer is looking at enhancing lethality wherever it can in the local market. So at the moment, EOS is organising with small drone dealers um, and drone operators, drone, people doing experiments with drones to make uh, to use their smart killing camera on the drones um, in tandem with small cannons um, and small uh, ammunition uh, killing devices. Um, so what we have is a, a major weapons uh, industry uh, forming and we are calling on the people who work in this building. If you work in one of the other companies, the Carter and Spencer Group, you can uh, make it known that this uh, is not acceptable sort of practice. A job, we don't have jobs uh, that are designed to kill people. It is more important that we don't kill people than have jobs. We're here today, and we're here at EOS in Brisbane. Uh, EOS, uh, you can see up there, it says EM Solutions. Well, EOS have bought wholly EM Solutions. EM Solutions is a, a radar uh, technologist, and they're already in the military technology sector, you know, uh, deeply sort of with many, many tenders. Um, so we, we call you, we call you to um, consider joining with us to disrupt the weapons industry, the export industry, to join us in Brisbane in June uh, and, and over the next few months as we visit the weapons factories in the suburbs. And of course, this is playing out in every city in Australia at the moment. This is the Brisbane version. Um, and we ask you to find ways to disrupt the global supply chain. Uh, that this is the most important thing. We have to disrupt the militarism at every point we come across it. On the global, global, $2 trillion is spent on weapons globally. At the moment in Australia, of course, it's $270 billion. $2,000 trillion. $270 billion of Australian money over 10 years just for exports. That's on top of the usual military spend. Uh, uh, we know EOS are teaming with other parties. They're teaming with the Rhine Metal in the, uh, the tanks that they're building. Um, they're teaming with Talas on the tanks that they're building in Benalla. If you're down, or um, they're teaming with in Bendigo. So if you're down in Victoria, you can go uh, suburban and see if you can stop uh, the weapons trade in your environment. 